you saw Sri Rahul Gandhi ji speak about this yatra yesterday in a very successful rally at Delhi in Ramlila Maidan. And the basic essence of this yatra, the basic objective of this yatra is to give the people of India a voice. Because people of India right now are living in fear and they are living in insecurity. People are afraid about their future, about where will their children study, where will their children find work. Young people today are leaving India to secure higher education abroad, to look for jobs abroad. And many young people are finding jobs and better opportunities in different parts across the world, whether that is Middle East, whether that is Europe, whether that is North America, whether that is Australia. But here in India, they are not finding a better future. So they are living in fear and insecurity. People are living in fear and insecurity because the relationship between different parts of our societies has become fractured ever since BJP has come to power in 2014. India is known across the world as a civilization which has harmony across diverse languages, across diverse regions, across diverse religions, where 1.3 billion people are living in harmony. And today, people are living in fear and are living in, in insecurity because the brotherhood, the sisterhood that existed, the, fraternity, the spirit of fraternity as enshrined in the Indian constitution that existed has come under attack by the BJP and our social relations are much more weaker. And this a weaker society leads to a weaker nation, a weaker country, and that only benefits those countries in our neighborhood which have their designs on India. Countries like Pakistan and China, their self-interest is served when Indian Indians are at conflict with each other. And that is why there is greater fear and insecurity. There is greater fear and insecurity because today democracy and the Indian constitution is under threat. People don't have a voice. Even my friends in the media, they are being subject to hostile takeovers. They are being subject to coercive pressures. They are being subject to threats and intimidation if they practice honest journalism, if they ask questions, tough questions from those who are sitting in power, whether that is in the state or in the country, they are intimidated, harassed, sent to jail. You saw when Pegasus crisis was being reported by the Indian media, you saw the list of people who were being targeted by the Pegasus software, people in the election commission, top journalists, people from the judiciary. So today people are living in fear and insecurity under this BJP government who are using all forms of coercive tools like Pegasus to harass and intimidate. Today, state governments are seeing that elected governments are being brought down. They are seeing the income tax and enforcement directorate acting as a frontal organization of the BJP. The autonomy of these institutions is under threat. You see a disastrous move 
like demonetization being endorsed by the Reserve Bank of India, a step that took away 2% of our GDP. So therefore, people are living in fear and insecurity. We are, this BJP government, since coming in 2014, promised the moon, promised the sky, but it has been a disaster. It has been an economic disaster. It has been a social disaster. It has been a constitutional disaster. And therefore, through Bharat Jodo Yatra, people of India will get a platform to vent their frustrations, to express their aspirations, and to be empowered and to feel that they have a voice, they have an agency, that they don't have to be afraid of the goons, of the ministers, of the different police and law enforcement agencies. And therefore this Yatra will be led by Sri Rahul Gandhiji from Kanya Kumari to Kashmir over 150 days of Padhyatra. Not in a fancy bus, not in fancy vehicles, but walking on the street close to 20 to 25 kilometers every day, open to people from all backgrounds, young, old, open to people from all political affiliations, whether they are similar to us or contrary. It is truly a nationwide movement that Rahul Gandhiji and the Congress party is starting to create a sense of ekyata amongst the poor, amongst the middle class, amongst women, amongst aged, amongst young people, no matter what caste you belong to, whether you are scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, other backward caste, no matter which religion you belong to, whether Hindu, Christian, Sikh, Islam, Jain, or whether you are atheist, to all unite for a stronger India, for a secure India, for a peaceful India, to secure a better future for our children, for our youth, to secure a better future as a society that again can breathe in harmony and to create the idea of India that our freedom fighters sacrifice their life for, an India where 1.3 billion people are empowered, not two industrialists, not a cozy nexus between industrialists, the Prime Minister and a few supportive voices in the media. This India does not belong to that crony nexus. This India belongs to all Indians. And that is the intention of this Bharat Jodo Yatra, Bharat Ikyata Yatra. We seek the support of the people of Karnataka. Karnataka. We seek the support of the people of, uh, of the media from here so that allow people to know about this program, about the route, so that they can join. When the, when the Yatra comes to Mysore, let the people of Mysore come and join. I know many people who are in Delhi who are waiting for the Yatra to reach Delhi so that they can join. This is a people's Yatra, a people's movement and I think at the culmination, people of India will emerge stronger and will be empowered and we will be able to take on this nexus of industrialists, the Prime Minister and a few sections of the media. So with that, I would like to end my opening statement and I invite uh, Sri, Sri Dolly Sharma to present her words uh, and to give an overview of the Yatra as well as a few details of the Yatra. Over to you. Thank you, Gauravji. And I would like to welcome you all here today in the KBCC. 
being appointed as a Karnataka uh, in charge for media and communications for this coming Bharat Jodo Yatra, I would like to see, Gauravji has explained you everything in detail, I would like to tell you how this Yatra is going to start. It is going to start from Tamil Nadu on 7th of September 2022. Why we are doing Bharat Joro Yatra is very well explained by Gauravji. See, today Mehngai and Berozgari is the main mudda. Mehngai se log pareshan hai, Berozgari se yuwa behal hai. Aapne dekha hoga, har jaga ghotale hi ghotale hai. Everywhere, if I talk about Karnataka, corruption is flying in the air. Even if we talk about the schools, they are suffering due to corruption. So, Rahul ji has said that come join us, join hands in hands, let's walk together, let's hear the voice of people. So, I am going to tell you in detail how we will start this Bharat Jodo Yatra so that you know people interested can join in. In Tamil Nadu, the program is in the seventh morning at 7 a.m. in Sri Prambadur. Sri Rahul Gandhi will pay homage to our respected leader and former Prime Minister Sri Rajiv Gandhi ji. Next, between 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., Rahul Gandhi ji will pay respects at the Trivalur Memorial, the Vivekananda Memorial and the Kamaraj Memorial. A prayer meeting will be organized at Mahatma Gandhi Mandapam at 4 p.m. followed by a national flag handover ceremony. Sri Rahul Gandhi ji and the Bharat Joro Yatris will then march from the Mahatma Gandhi Mandapam to Beach Road. From 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. there will be a public meeting at Beach Road to formally launch the Bharat Jodo Yatra. The Padiyatra will commence the next day 8 September at 7 a.m. from the Vivekananda Institute of Polytechnic Ground Agastiswaram Kanyakumari. We expect the participation of Congress leaders from Tamil Nadu and all across the borders. From every state, whosoever is interested. See, why we are doing this Bharat Jodo Yatra is the BJP government, what is it doing? Sabhi sare ke sare jitne bhi Hindustan ke institutions hai. उन पर लगातार भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो प्रहार किए हैं लेके कर्नाटक से महाराष्ट्र मध्य प्रदेश अब साजिश है झारखंड की जिस तरीके से रोज सरकारें संविधानिक तरीके से चुनी हुई सरकारें गिराई जा रही हैं आपके मुद्दे जमीनी मुद्दे आपके घर के मुद्दे प्राइम मिनिस्टर ने कहा था 2022 तक हर किसी को मकान मिलेगा and we with this Bharat Jodo Yatra asking the Prime Minister please Modi ji bata dijiye कितने और कहाँ आपने घर दिए हिंदुस्तानियों को वो गरीब आज सड़क पर इंतजार कर रहे हैं किस लिए you have put you you have put on GST even on the toilets if you are going through railways have you seen they have put in a lot of GST on Atta, dal, chawal, dahi, chaj. Gone are the days. Jab kehte the, achhe din aayenge, jab Modi ji aayenge. Achhe din, achhe din, achhe din. I from Karnataka is telling, wo bure din lota dijiye Modi ji, agar ye achhe din hai. Jahan atta, dal, chawal par GST nahi thi. Jahan berozgar yuwaon ki fauj nahi thi. Jahan हर रोज घोटाले नहीं थे जहां करप्शन से पीड़ित कर्नाटक नहीं था थैंक यू सो मच एंड आई रिस आई आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू फॉर योर कोऑपरेशन बिकॉज़ आई विल बी हैंडलिंग द मीडिया फॉर दिस भारत जोड़ो यात्रा कर्नाटक थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम
Karnataka program, I would like Priyank Khargeji because he's been in consultation with all the state leaders to take this question. So here, Bharat Jodo Yatra na leni the, vandu Bharat Yatri gada gada gada. Inna vandu Atiti Yatri gada gada, inna vandu Pradesh Yatri gada gada. Bharat Yatri gada gada, yalla moor saavra ayinur kilometer nadi gada gada. Pradesh Yatri gada gada, ii ayinur hannan kilometer yad nadi gada 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 gada. Matte Atiti Yatri gada gada, bere raja dinda paru vanta, यात्री बोलो, तो इन्हें कर्नाटक दल ले, ये लाल इफ़ोटों द दिन आयाव ना इतने नहीं बोलते, आदो कंप्लीट फ्रीडम और इगेदे, आदो वर्क पढ़े सी, याव याव जिले गले ना ना वो टच मारते हैं ना, the districts that we are not touching, those leaders will be allocated trips so that they can come and join along with the people, so that schedule is being worked upon, that will be probably in another ten days it will be given to the media. I just would like to add, I, am, uh, I spend more time in Assam, but uh, my colleagues um, in Assam and in Delhi, we have been following the yatras in Karnataka done by the Pradesh Congress. So, and we have been astounded by the response. By, first by the Mekadatu Yatra. Uh, we have uh, not seen such numbers in a long time, and I must say, I'm just having a conversation, uh, that uh, it is uh, phenomenal to see the spirit and with which people are joining. And also, the I think everybody is discussing in Bangalore how during the Independence Day uh, Yatra, you had the Freedom March with, I don't know, such a long um, uh, tiranga, I don't know how the length of it, but it was beautiful, and I think a very... A wonderful message is going uh, from the south of India, from Karnataka uh, to the people across the world, uh, not only to people within the Congress party, uh, but just to people that, you know, even today, whether, whether social media or governments are becoming more powerful, people do have a voice. People need not think of themselves only as beneficiaries, that they uh, will be harassed if they support uh, dissent. I think it's very important that those, through these yatras, people realize that in the end, it is they, uh, on their behalf, governments are elected. And therefore, I think it's a very a beautiful message that is uh, being sent from, uh, from Karnataka. This, this yatra is not, a, as we have said, is not about elections. It is about something bigger than uh, elections, which is about reclaiming the idea of India. The idea of India that our freedom fighters sacrifice their lives for. The idea of India that it is an ancient civilization in which we believe in harmony, in which we believe that citizens are empowered, in which we believe that citizens' welfare is more important than the welfare of a select few, of a select privileged class who are connected and who are being supported by the Prime Minister. So therefore, uh, I think it's a, a, in today's era when judiciary, people in the election commission, journalists, uh, forget about us, we are used to much more pressure from the government, but civilians are being targeted through Pegasus software. Their privacy is being uh, intruded upon, and many journalists are being sent to jail on flimsy causes. Uh, I think uh, this Yatra has the potential to be a transformative moment in the history of India. 
IT companies, sir, they have written a letter officially, sir, saying that we will have to withdraw investments. Udyoga Nagari Akta Ito, Silicon City Na, New Sinking City Marta Idira La. Idi Ke, Sarkar Ha, Ya, Ninne Hubli Na Lidru Sahibru, CM Sahibru. Yelli, He is in charge of Bangalore La, Yelli Thare, Maya Abdi Dara La. Vandu, Idin Na Ne, Bere Ahadru Idu Idu Idre, Yalla Spokesperson, BJP, IT Cellu, Spokesperson, Mantri Gudu, MLA Gudu, Yalla Rupan Comment Marta Idra La, Yelli Odru. One idi dina comment madru na na lancha mancha anta ka. Kello dra pa gender pa kya comment madi? Kya ke ahi ista samarthra abdi dra BJP oru vakchatra oru anta ra kello oru nimge. So David to gender dra ho kya poli? Or aavva lagal na? Or samasya dra pariyara madi Bengaluru saitha idhe, Karnataka saitha idhe. Thank you. Could you brief in English on the audio tape of the BJP? One second. So, as you are aware that uh, 1.29 <coughs> uh, lakh people have written the exam for 545 PSI course. And from day one, Congress has been saying that uh, it's a huge scam. The Home Minister has denied that it is a scam six times on the floor of the House, and now there's an inquiry into it. An IPS officer has been arrested uh, in the case. This is, it's a first in the history of Karnataka. Police officers have been arrested. And today one MLA is on record saying that I was playing, I was playing the role of a broker, I was mediating on behalf of somebody to ensure a candidate becomes the PSI. So who is, uh, who is in, uh, uh, what more proof does this government need? Why aren't they ordering a judicial probe? What are they so afraid of? Are they afraid that uh, their skeletons will come out of the closet? Why is it? Why, why the delay? They are saying Congress people are involved, right? Yes, if we are involved, order a probe. If you have, if you have the guts. Thank you.